I haven't gotten that far there yet. <laughs> sugar thing and keeping track of what I eat and everything properly and I have to go back to the doctors next week so I figure I better start really doing everything I'm supposed to do so the doctors can help me um, but I'm just not feeling it today so I'm probably going to spend a lot of the day in bed and uh, hopefully I don't sleep all day because I don't like when I sleep all day but we have the party tomorrow and I need to be been about and ready for that so I think I'm gonna kind of kick back today. Hey Boomer, why'd you leave? After clawing me all up. Huh? Look in your lips. Did you give him get some blood? Boomer? Of course he did. Boomer? Hi Freckles, did you want to go back outside again? You were over there by the door. I know he's drinking a lot. The bowl in the bath bedroom's empty. Good morning, sweetheart. Hello, honey bunny. What time is it? It's 11. Okay, five more minutes. <laughs> he's being... <laughs> he looks like a Buddha right now. Buddha Boomer. Boomer the Buddha. Yo, Boomer. Hi! <laughs> so, when Melody sent me Marshmallow, and I saw how white and pretty he looked, I decided I had to wash all my polar bears. And here they all are! They there's, look white now. There's a Snoopy hiding oh, in the middle of there's there. There's a Snoopy. I had to wash my Noopy too. Yeah, well, they were very gray. Yes, they were. And now they're all nice and clean. Nice and clean. This polar bear used to be Megan's. And we he was in the house when the wall caught on fire. And he got burnt a little bit from being in the fire. Right there and right there. Hmm. And then... This polar bear I got from Kaya when she um, adopted a polar bear for me. It was a gift. And then this polar bear Megan brought me back from Alaska. 
when she went on her trip to Alaska with her dad. And this polar bear, I don't remember where I got him, but I'm sure Megan or Kevin. And this polar bear, his name is Cece, he had a bath too, but he just doesn't clean up as good because I sleep with him every night, so his, his fur is all matted down. But his name is Cece because he's the Coca-Cola polar bear. So I sleep with Cece, Newbie, and now Marshmallow. Yes, I'm 48 years old. Uh-huh. Bye. <laughs> so, uh, Ryan and I went to the 99 cent store to try and find a rolling pin because for clay, you want to roll it out so you can make slabs and put things together. And, uh, when we got out of the car, I had a flat tire and we were like, oh, sad face. So we had, we put this fix a tire stuff inside of it and fixed it. And then, um, we were driving home at 20 miles an hour. So as we were driving home, um, we passed like four tire places that were all closed. And then we passed one that was open and well, it wasn't open, but it had the lights on, so we stopped. And then, but we found out that they closed at 6, and it was like 6.30. And they were helping another couple that was still in there. Um, but then we, we talked to them and everything, and they they uh, found out that it was just a nail in the tire, and that they just needed to patch it. So they patched it for us for free, and stayed after. And it was very, very nice of them. Do you know what, what tire store it was? It was... The place was called America's Tire Store. It's in Norco, California. Cool. So thank you to America's Tire Store for being so generous and kind and helping out my daughter in her time of need. So Megan's got some mail open. This one's I can't open. It was in a box of stuff that she had sent to us, so I didn't read it. I just put it aside because I knew it was a card for you. It's got star punches. Lucy made, made it. I like star punches. Happy birthday with four balloons. It's not Easter. It's not Christmas. It's not almost Valentine's Day. But no, it's your birthday. And it's, or no, it's almost Valentine's Day. But no. It's your birthday, and it's a very special day. Hugs. Love, Lucy Bones. Happy birthday. And she drew a hedgehog for me. Ooh. Hedgehog, hedgehog. It's cute. She did a good job drawing it. I know. It's very cute. Cool. Hedgehog. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. Very, very sweet. And now I have... A card from Mum and Pop, my grandma and grandpa in uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. I almost said New York, but they don't live there anymore. They just moved. Kitties! Yay, kitties. Meow, 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 meow. And it says, awesome. Awesome. To Megan, happy B day. Love ya. Hope your birthday is just like that. Because it's awesome. Wishing you a great day. Love, Mama and Pa. Yay! Did they send you a check? Yes. Keys! Well, Pa still watches sometimes. He can't find his computer right now, so. Yeah. I need to put the cookies in the oven! Well, okay. do you want to say thank you to Mama and Pa Pa? Thank you, Mama and Pa Pa! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody! It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! Yep. In case y'all haven't noticed already, there's a new investigation on the PIN channel. Yay! Go by and check it out. So stop yelling at me! <laughs> it's only part one. Part two is yet to come. Sooner or later. Sooner than later. I'll make sure of that. Okay, Vit. Don't touch my book. Don't touch my book. I'm not touching it. Ow. 
<laughs> Video star mad. She needs one more sub to get to 50 subs. I think we can do that for her, guys. Go check out her channel. Give her a thumbs up and subscribe. She's awesome. Proudest Mama 77. She asked for some tattoo advice the other day and I gave her some information and she sent me back a message and I just want to say thank you for the very kind words. We're just ordinary people. We really are. Tiger TB65. Welcome to the neighborhood. And they came over from Angie Lupus Life. Groovy man. Glad to have you. And Jessica M, welcome to the neighborhood. And she is new from Nibbling with the Neighbors. And she gave me a good idea. Um, I've tried it this before. She said to use uh, Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Dash seasoning instead of all the other seasonings because a lot of the other seasonings have salt in them. However, I've tried Mrs. Dash once, and it was overpowering to me, but maybe I'll give it a try again. So, thanks for the tip. And... Uh, Atheist Psychonaut. Okay. Welcome to the neighborhood. And they also came over from Angie Lupus Life, so thanks a lot for coming over. Thank you, Angie, for giving us a shout-out and sending people on over. Tammy Alexander, welcome to the neighborhood. And she was glad that she uh, checked out um, our links and stuff. And she found out that we have a paranormal channel, and that's our favorite channel. And she's going to subscribe to all the other channels as well. So, Tammy, there's a new PIN investigation up today. Make sure you go by and check it out. Beauty Queen 12 wants to know what was our inspiration behind starting YouTube. Was our inspiration? Nikki and John. <laughs> um, in case some of you don't know, Nikki and John, they have a channel called Pranksters in Love. They also have a channel called Nikki and John Vlogs. Now, they used to live next door to us. They used to. They've moved since then. Um, we are still very, very close with them. Megan was in some of their vlogs, we were in some of their vlogs, and they kept telling us, you guys need to start your own channel. And they always referred to us as The Neighbors. Hence, our channel name, The Neighbors. So, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so yesterday we asked you guys what was the, the helicopter pilot saying in the opening scenes of the 1982 The Thing, since it was in Norwegian. Now, I, I didn't write it down here, but a lot of people got it right, and the, the version that I saw didn't have all the, the curse words in it, because uh, there's a, actually a bunch of different versions. I didn't even know that, but, but uh, we got... So many people got it right. The first one to get it was G. Moore, 1985. Uh, Terry Johnson was second. She answered it in English as well as in Norwegian. Uh, Mom's Vlog 80 also got it, uh, but of course she edited herself. Uh, John Harrison was uh, also got it, and Amanda Nichols actually shared a link to the scene. So uh, go into our comments and you can see the scene, which is great. I'm glad everybody's getting so into it. Yeah, we're really, really enjoying this uh, movie trivia stuff, so we're going to keep it up. Okay, so today's trivia question is on a classic. Uh, Stephen King stayed at uh, the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, and inspired him to write The Shining, um, which turned into the Overlook Hotel. He stayed in a specific room. It was uh, uh, room 217, which was supposed to be haunted, and that became an important room in the book. Uh, but when Stanley Kubrick turns it into a movie, he changed it to room 237. Why did he do that? So there you have it. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for you out there. We love you all so very, very much. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts to the tippy tops of our little heads. 
thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, P.I.A. Make it's Arts and Crafts and the Neighborhood Zoo. And we will see you guys all tomorrow.